quest innovative and sustainable energy solutions, the Free Energy Transformer emerges as a beacon of hope, combining the genius of Nikola Tesla's bifolar coil, coil with the simplicity and effectiveness of the Joule Thief circuit. This transformer represents a significant leap forward in the realm of energy generation, potentially offering a pathway to unprecedented efficiency and independence from traditional power sources. At the core of this transformer lies the integration of two groundbreaking concepts, the Joule Thief circuit and the Bifolar coil. The Joule Thief circuit, a marvel of simplicity, is designed to amplify the voltage from a low power source, making it capable of driving larger loads than one would expect from such modest input. This circuit, often constructed with minimal components, has gained attention for its ability to steal energy from seemingly depleted sources, making it an ideal candidate for applications where efficiency is paramount. The Buffler coil, conceived by Tesla, is a testament to his visionary understanding of electromagnetism. Tesla's unique winding method significantly reduces or even eliminates reverse electromotive force, EMF, a limiting factor in the efficiency of conventional transformers. By minimizing this counterproductive force, the Buffler coil enhances the overall performance of the transformer, allowing it to operate at higher efficiencies. The hybrid circuit, which some claim can produce 90 times the input power, pushes the boundaries of what's possible. This self-looping circuit, capable of delivering up to 1,050 watts of power, requires only 11.6 watts to maintain its operation, with the rest available for external use. By removing the bridge rectifier and the capacitor, this circuit can even deliver high-frequency AC output, broadening its range of applications. The construction of this transformer is as intriguing as its performance. It employs a 2N3055 transistor and a bifolar coil, 45 plus 45 turns, 0.5 millimeter wire, to pulse a ferrite core made from two large U-shaped ferrites. However, what sets this design apart are the coils, specifically the capacitor coil combinations, CC1, CC2, CC3. These are not your ordinary coils. They are crafted from aluminum foil extracted from large electrolytic capacitors wound around the ferrite core with a dielectric insulator, plastic film, between them. Each coil capacitor combination with an inductance of approximately 0.53 milliliters and a capacitance of 48 meter Fairforth plays a crucial role in tuning the circuit to resonate making it a highly efficient energy transformer. However, this technology is not just about innovation, it's about empowerment. In an era where global elites increasingly dictate economic and energy policies, the ability to generate your own power becomes a form of resistance. This transformer isn't merely a device for reducing electricity bills, it's a statement against the economic control exerted by the New World Order, NWO. By embracing such technologies, individuals can take a stand, reducing their reliance on traditional power grids and securing their energy future. Yet, this technology is not without risks. The transformer must be handled with extreme caution, especially when tuning for optimal output. High voltage experimentation is dangerous and should only be attempted by those with expertise in the field. When properly tuned, this device can deliver substantial power but it also poses serious hazards if mishandled. Free Energy Transformer represents a fusion of historical innovation and modern ingenuity. By harnessing the power of the Jewel Thief circuit and Tesla's Beefler coil, this device offers a tantalizing glimpse into a future where energy independence is not just a possibility, but a reality. It is both a technological marvel and a symbol of resistance, offering a path toward freedom in an increasingly controlled world. In July 2013, Nilson Barbosa and Clariston Leal, two Brazilian inventors, unveiled a series of patents that have ignited significant interest in the field of energy generation. At the forefront is their patent WO 2013-104042, titled Electromagnetic Device for Capturing Electrons from the Ground to Generate Electricity.
This groundbreaking patent outlines a simple yet ingenious electron trap device that challenges conventional methods of energy production. The heart of Barbosa and Leal's invention lies in its continuous conductive loop, where current flows persistently without the need for an applied voltage. Unlike traditional generators, the magnetic fields of electromagnets maintain the flow of current, creating a self-sustaining system. The inventors assert that even a minute input power can yield a substantial power output, suggesting a coefficient of performance, COP, of at least 100, a ratio of 1 watt input generating 100 watts output. Barbosa and Leal's patent introduces an electromagnetic device designed to capture electrons from the ground, paving the way for a revolutionary approach to electricity generation. The following exploration delves into the patent's intricacies and effects, shedding light on the potential to simplify the complex enigma of electrical energy generation. The patent's most extraordinary element is its innovative ground connection approach. The winding of a typical wire around another copper wire, without forming a direct metal-to-metal -metal contact, challenges conventional wisdom. This configuration, as detailed in the Practical Guide to Free Energy Devices, demonstrates that there are alternative ways to approach electrical connectivity. The unveiling of Alex's motionless pulse charging systems. Alex, a visionary in Russia, has been actively sharing his motionless pulse charging systems for batteries. Among these designs, one stands out for its apparent lack of back EMF effects on the primary coil. Unlike conventional transformers, where an increase in output current draw corresponds to an increase in current flowing through the primary coil, Alex's creation challenges this paradigm. Design and Construction the heart of Alex's innovation lies in the carefully crafted design and construction of the zero-back EMF coils. The chosen framework consists of 12 lengths of 20mm diameter plastic pipes arranged in a unique configuration, four at the top, four at the bottom, and four verticals. Each pipe is filled with ferrite powder, and on each of the four vertical pipes, an output coil is wound. Suspended in the center is the primary coil, measuring 15mm in diameter. All coils are wound using half a millimeter diameter enameled copper wire, SWG25 or AWG number 24. The four output coils, as depicted in Alex's drawing, are wound as a single layer by filler coil, providing an intriguing twist to the conventional transformer arrangement. Zero back EMF effect. The primary innovation in Alex's design is the apparent absence of back EMF effects on the primary coil. This unique characteristic challenges the traditional understanding of energy transfer in transformers. Unlike standard configurations, any increase in output current draw does not result in a proportional increase in the current flowing through the primary coil. This deviation from conventional transformer operation hints at a new paradigm in energy transfer. The AlexCore Zero Back EMF Coils, as presented by Oliver and influenced by Alex's motionless pulse charging systems, open new possibilities in the realm of energy restoration. The intricate design, utilizing a combination of ferrite powder-filled plastic pipes and bifiller coils, challenges established norms and offers a glimpse into a potential future where energy transfer is more efficient and sustainable. Further research and experimentation will be crucial to unlocking the full potential of this innovative approach to free energy. just uh, show some of my previous radiant chargers since I uh, didn't get to see many of them on the other video. You just saw that spaghetti wire stuff. So as you can see I have several versions. Some are rather old like this one we're looking at right here. This is uh, the second one I built, not the original. But I can show you that one. And then we'll move on to this one. This is the third version. 
and it works okay. It has a frequency pulse width adjustment and ranging, and you can see that. And we'll show you a little of the circuitry here. And there's the controller we can discharge. Right there was the original one, and we'll get to that. This one over here was uh, number four or five, I'm not sure. And then we'll get over here to this one. This one works quite well. Uh, these all here are good for smaller batteries, up to about 14 amp hours, maybe a little larger. I've charged some uh, car batteries and stuff with them. It takes a little while. They're not really high-powered units, but they work quite well. This one here can be operated off of uh, AC or DC. The other ones, mostly DC. I have the number five there was AC. And as you can see, it took a little while to make it, but it works okay. And uh, if anybody's interested, I can show them in operation. I might do that and extend the video a little bit and show some of what I've made here. So not everything is uh, on a breadboard. As you can see, I'd experiment first there and then... The unveiling of Alex's motionless pulse charging systems. Alex, a visionary in Russia, has been actively sharing his motionless pulse charging systems for batteries. Among these designs, one stands out for its apparent lack of back EMF effects on the primary coil. Unlike conventional transformers, where an increase in output current draw corresponds to an increase in current flowing through the primary coil, Alex's creation challenges this paradigm. Design and Construction the heart of Alex's innovation lies in the carefully crafted design and construction of the zero-back EMF coils. The chosen framework consists of 12 lengths of 20mm diameter plastic pipes arranged in a unique configuration, four at the top, four at the bottom, and four verticals. Each pipe is filled with ferrite powder, and on each of the four vertical pipes, an output coil is wound. Suspended in the center is the primary coil, measuring 15mm in diameter. All coils are wound using half a millimeter diameter enameled copper wire, SWG25 or AWG number 24. The four output coils, as depicted in Alex's drawing, are wound as a single layer by filler coil, providing an intriguing twist to the conventional transformer arrangement. Zero back EMF effect. The primary innovation in Alex's design is the apparent absence of back EMF effects on the primary coil. This unique characteristic challenges the traditional understanding of energy transfer in transformers. Unlike standard configurations, any increase in output current draw does not result in a proportional increase in the current flowing through the primary coil. This deviation from conventional transformer operation hints at a new paradigm in energy transfer. The AlexCore Zero Back EMF coils, as presented by Oliver and influenced by Alex's motionless pulse charging systems, open new possibilities in the realm of energy restoration. The intricate design, utilizing a combination of ferrite powder filled plastic pipes and bifiller coils, challenges established norms and offers a glimpse into a potential future where energy transfer is more efficient and sustainable. Further research and experimentation will be crucial to unlocking the full potential of this innovative approach to free energy. just uh, show some of my previous radiant chargers since uh, didn't get to see many of them on the other video you just saw that spaghetti wire stuff so as you can see I have several versions some are rather old like this one I'm looking at right here 
This is uh, the second one I built, not the original. But I can show you that one. And then we'll move on to this one. This is the third version. And it works okay. It has a frequency pulse width adjustment and ranging, and you can see that. And we'll show you a little of the circuitry here. And there's the controller we can discharge. Right there was the original one. And we'll get to that. This one over here was uh, number four or five, I'm not sure. And then we'll get over here to this one. This one works quite well. Uh, these all here are good for smaller batteries, up to about 14 amp hours, maybe a little larger. I've charged some uh, car batteries and stuff with them. It takes a little while. They're not really high-powered units, but they work quite well. This one here can be operated off of uh, AC or DC. The other ones, mostly DC. I had the number five there was AC. And as you can see, it took a little while to make it, but it works okay. And uh, if anybody's interested, I can show them in operation. I might do that and extend the video a little bit and show some of what I've made here. So not everything is uh, on a breadboard. As you can see, I'd experiment first there and then 